You are listening to Power Marketing with Kevin Lee. Here's Kevin. It takes a great show to be able to charge somebody for it, but that's the job, right? That's the job of an event producer is to create something worth charging for. Yeah, I think there's freemium opportunities. I think there's free potential out there. I think you could have a very successful model where an online event was fully sponsored and it was free to the consumer and that could actually work out well potentially for the sponsor. Um, So I think there's a bunch of models in there, but I don't want people to get away from the core idea that people pay for good content. You know, I, I know there's a lot of free content, but everybody, you know, pays for all kinds of content on online. I mean, it's just the people pay for, for good content in many, many ways, whether it's their Netflix subscription or, you know, the download of a movie or whatever it is, there's a lot of opportunities um, for people to express that. They, I mean, and you know, if, if something's good enough, people pay more than, than you'd think, right? I mean, like, like this is just, we, we see this behavior over and over again, right? So it, it re- but it, what's really important is the, is the first part of that equation, which is when you create an online event, it can't be half-assed, you know, you know what I mean? It's gotta be good. Yeah, um, the, the, the reason I'm sort of smiling is I was thinking about your analogy of, you know, if it's great content, we'll, we'll, people will pay for it. And of course, in the news this last month and in particular today is OnlyFans because OnlyFans reversed its policy yeah. with regards to its content and yeah. what it's still allowable on the platform. And that's certainly one form of content that if you put on a good show, people will pay for it. Well, I, 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 when the announcement came out the other day, I thought to myself that they were going to stop uh, doing the, the porn on the platform. I thought, well, that's the end of this company. Um, <laughs> and, I, or, and simultaneously, I, I thought like the, there's a, clock ticking somewhere for when they reverse this, right? Because um, it, yeah, I mean, it, it, I know it's, it's a whole different kind of thing. And, and in some ways, it's very important for people who are in the live event marketing business and are thinking about online events to push past the, the politeness or ick factor of what they're doing is porn and realize that what they're doing is, it's not just porn. I mean, you can't just put, you know, famously porn is a distressed business model now because of all the, 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 the free and stolen porn sites. There's, there's a lot of, it's really interesting, right? The porn people are always on the cutting edge of, oh, someone's bringing me iced tea. The porn people are always on the cutting edge of, of the business model because um, they're just, you know, it's just the nature of that, of that part of the industry. But the point I'm making is if you're thinking about online content and you're thinking about monetizing online content, you should definitely be watching and thinking uh, about OnlyFans. Because it's not just a matter of putting, you know, nude whatever on the internet. There's still got to be value creation, you know? And so somehow what OnlyFans has facilitated is for creators to create content that people are willing to pay for and pay for again and pay for again and pay for again. And it does, I mean, I think this is the core idea. You can do that outside of porn. If, if, If you're committed to that idea that, you know, you can make content that that's really worthwhile. And I, and I do think it's important for people to not allow the sort of polite society concerns of understanding what's happening with OnlyFans to stop them from seeing what this is, which is it a, it's like everything else. It's like, it's like video. It's like streaming video. The first people that did streaming video way back in the 90s were the porn people. And it was years later, several years later, when suddenly YouTube and all the other platforms facilitated it as the perhaps the biggest marketing tool of the last couple of decades, right? So there's a window of time where they kind of had the field to themselves. And I feel in a way that when it comes to online con- online event content, we're in that period right now. So from the point of view of, of someone who's a marketer or a content creator, it's the same, it's that same opportunity again. It's 1999 in, in, uh, in the streaming video world. Kevin Lee's Power Marketing is available on all your favorite podcast networks. Kevin loves helping businesses excel at marketing. Having marketing challenges? Just like Santa in the Miracle on 34th Street. If Kevin can't help you, he'll know someone who can. Find him on LinkedIn, subscribe, or follow.